There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey guys, hey everyone. Today, this is going to be a voiceover. I thought I would give you guys a voiceover. It's easy. As you guys can see, this is a 4x4 closure wig. And it is a company that I worked with prior, which is called I Show Hair. They have many affordable wigs, and I'll make sure to post it down below. This is their body wave that I went ahead and bleached already, pre-plugged, and also, you know, styled. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick how your wig comes. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. Right, you guys so as you see i'm just using my hot comb here my hot comb from walmart this is the andis brand i actually got this from amazon but the first one i did get from walmart i like this hot comb it's very easy to use it gets super duper hot it goes up to the, the degrees of 20 i'm not really sure what that is but it goes up to 20 degrees and it gets very hot you see i got the bedhead hairspray which is absolutely amazing and I also got the glam force by got to be which is great but today we're going to use the got to be insta hole which i am going to compare to the glam force one they kind of like the same thing okay they, they like the same thing so you know my normal usual thing is parting the frontal or the lace closure in a certain area so that way i can go ahead and apply the hairspray i do like to apply the hairspray in the middle of the part so it makes it easier you can ask for eye show hair they have many different units to choose from their wigs are super duper affordable this wig comes in 8 to 26 inches i do believe the prices are on sale at this current time there are different type of origin hairs such as brazilian uh, Peruvian, Malaysian, Indian. So, you know, you have your pick. And yes, the density is 150%. So for the price, you know what I'm saying? They're very affordable. Of course, you're going to have to do some work. You did see that 
Um, the wig did come with knots that you will need to lift and bleach. So that is, you know, the things that you will need to do to the wig. So for this video, I decided to put it as a middle part, but let me tell y'all real quick. I am going to be doing another portion of this video in this video. I did have to restyle the wig like two weeks later, only because I didn't like how it came out once I looked at the video footage. It was, it had a lot to do with where the closure ends in and so forth. So you will see me putting on my normal um, mousse that I do get from the Dollar Tree. And this is a four by four closure wig. But what I'm talking about is when you, when, with the wig, there is the end of the closure, like the sides of the closure where the closure ends. It's kind of bulky. If you can see right here on the sides, um, right where I'm brushing at right now, you'll see like one of the tracks. And I'm trying my best to, you know, camouflage it right here as you see me swooping. But because the ends are, or the, the track is double wefted, it kind of is raised up a little bit and you can see it a little bit as you guys can see here. So that's the reason why I'm camouflaging it. So in my opinion, I really think like when, when they're sewing on the tracks, that's like really close to the closure piece. I think like they should make it a single wefted track, especially for the front part. So that way it doesn't look bulky and big. Uh, I don't have any other complaints besides that. Um, I just think that that's like a really huge, it'll make a difference. So when they are creating the unit, I just really feel like it should be a single wefted track when it comes to it being by the closure, especially at the sides of the closure. That way it's not sitting raised, if you will notice in the video. So as I was saying, I waited two weeks later to do this video after the first initial install of it because, you know, I had other things that I had to do and I had to get my computer out of the shop. Like I said, I did work with them plenty of times before and on a scale of one to 10, I would give them like an eight because for one, it's affordable. Nobody wants to spend a whole bunch of money on hair. That's a, that's a given. Nobody's trying to spend all of their check. So I think like with affordable hair, you know what I'm saying? You can definitely tweak it. You know, you, you have to bleach it and their hair is like a low luster and I think they have like decent hair, but you do need to know how to take care of it. So for the closure portion, that was just a Debbie Downer for me where the closure was at. I just think like when it comes to making closure wigs, and that's not just I Show Hair, it's a, a, the, quite a few other companies that I have, you know, reviewed for. When it comes to closure wigs, I think like once at the sides of the closure, I think it needs to be a single wefted track just so it's not so bulky and it's not noticeable. Easy to curl, 150% density. This one here is 24 inches that I have, but I'll definitely link everything down below. They have like a huge sale. So I'm just curling it and styling it right now. And you're definitely gonna see the after look of how it looked once I decided to change the video up. This part right here, I am singing one of my favorite songs which is K. Michelle's song, um, I Need, uh, what is it called? Um, new, New. You know what I'm saying? I like that song. I like it a lot. It describes me. Yeah. you guys so this is it like I know I got totally different clothes on makeup probably looks a little bit different let me tell y'all I had to do the video over just the styling part when I looked at it I did notice like where the actual closure piece ends there is like a track that's very very noticeable and I did not like how that looked at all in the video plus it was just it just looked horrible um, so I definitely had to do it over plus also I did have it in the middle part and I really wanted to do the middle part but there were so many short hairs that when I used the wax stick it just gave this like residue on top of it and it made it look greasy and just nasty so I had to clean that part off and I just decided to do a side part just to avoid all of the actual um, just to avoid all of the actual little hairs. So, you know, affordable wig, you definitely will have to work around an affordable wig. You know what I'm saying? I think I did a good job, especially for the second go round. 
it is what it is you know I tried to make it work as best as I could and I think I did a damn good job so I will leave all the information down below you know these closure wigs sometimes can be a little bit tricky I said this in the last video but I think when they're doing the tracks towards the front hairline portion I really think they use they just need to kind of like thin the tracks out make them a single because they get a little bit bulky and then you see the piece right here you know which I really don't like right here it's very bulky so you definitely will need to like camouflage that and that's why I have the hair swooped like that but I love you all I gotta go um, it is pretty late it is 753 pretty late for me um, yeah let me know what you think make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up girl I got to clean this mess up and try to at least edit a video that is way overdue so i will see you guys in the next one thumbs the video up please i love you all and make sure you stay safe out there